There are a lot of ways to make money and escape from Tarkov, the easiest being scav runs. For whatever reason, some people don't like to use their scavs, but scav runs are a huge part of a video game that you paid for. They're quick loot runs when you don't have time for a full PMC raid, it's risk-free loot, and if you don't care about money and scav karma, they're free combat practice. Today I'm going to show you my three recommended routes for scav runs on Lighthouse. I won't be covering the high risk, high reward spots like the chalets or water treatment plants as those are pretty self-explanatory. I'll be showing you the routes that are out of the typical flow of the map so you'll have the highest chance of extracting because we play escape from Tarkov, not get the best loot then die on the way to extract from Tarkov. Every survived raid is money in the bank, so let's look at the first route. We'll call it the northern route. If you spawn in the top one third of the map, make your way to this beach campsite. It's a loose provision spawn and I've also seen rare items inside the tents. Then move towards the bridge for some ammo and a wooden crate. We'll continue along the beach to avoid the rogues and any player scavs or PMCs who are fighting them. We'll come down to this vehicle, which has a few items around it, and work around the grotto to our first stash. At this point, if you are full, you can extract via the scav hideout at the grotto. If you are lucky cheeky and have a bigger rig and backpack, we'll continue north. We'll continue north along the coast until you see these large drainage pipes on your left. Go over the hill that's above them until you're even with the boat that's in the water. From there, go straight east and that's your second stash. Further north, there are two cars with a few loose items around them. There's also a rowboat in the water that sometimes has a loose item inside of it. Then we'll make our way northeast to the opposite side of this big rock formation. Inside of a little cutout is the third of our five stashes on this route. If you're full now, run east down the road to the industrial zone gate. If you're greedy, let's go into the train yard, but be cautious as you cross the road and enter as you are near a PMC extract. There's tons of loot within the train yard, so just go nuts. But if you want the last two stashes, you'll need to follow along the northern border of the map all the way to this little trailer in the back. Inside a bush behind it is stash number four. Move south to this open connex and broken wooden box. Inside the box spawns military tech and valuable items. And then both inside and outside of the connex is various ammo spawns. After checking there, hit the eastern edge of the train yard and work as far south as south goes. Or as far south as our final stash. On the concrete loading docks to your west, there's a weapon box and some loose weapon attachments. Grab whatever else you can carry and exit the train yard to find the industrial zone gates. And that's our first route. Let's talk route number two. I'd consider this the safest of the routes, but it's actually the route that I found two military tubes on, which at the time of recording this are going for 1.2 million. This is the beach route. Make your way over the hills to the beach. If you're further north and are able to hit the shipwreck area of the beach, be sure to check out the top of the crates and inside the boxes for rare loot as you make your way south. If you spawn further south, don't worry about backtracking up there. There's plenty of loot on this route. Our first of the five stashes is nested under this weird dock house. If you get an early spawn, keep an eye out for PMCs making their way through this area towards the chalets. Then you'll move south along the coastline. Go up this little rock ramp and find stash number two. Continue on south some more to the fishing huts. There's two duffel bags, a dead scab, a toolbox, and a lot of loose loot. Pause the video here if you want to check where all these items are at. Move south towards the road and run around the stranded vehicles there. There's a weapon box on the western vehicle that I learned about after recording this, and there's some ammo spawns on the eastern vehicle. Cross the road and look for this large rock formation with a small cutout. You'll have to go prone to access stash number three. Continue south along the bank until you come to a stranded car. There's some loose provision spawns here, but don't fill your pockets up yet. Stash number four is on the little island next to the car. There's a bush covering it, so you'll have some concealment from the road while you loot. Jump back over to the mainland and now let's head east towards the extract. I'd advise staying on the shore for this one as it's a long run with tons of exposure from the rocks. When you're nearly to the extract, pop your head up and check for assholes on the rocks. Remember me telling you this when there's someone up there. Go across the road to the two parked cars and check their trunks and on the ground around them. Then stay on the road as you run towards extract. But wait, the fifth stash. 
Get to the tire that's leaning on the guardrail, then hop down into the ditch and there's your final stash. Continue down the road to either extract or check the various loot in these trailers. Feeling good about the beach route? Let's talk the mountain route now. You're like, yes, finally go into the chalets. Wrong, turn around, hit the eastern border of the map. You'll know it's the border because your character won't be able to go any further. Continue south from here to find our first stash. Then run south towards the smoke in the sky. That's the downed helicopter. Pop up on this rock to look down at it before running in guns blazing, because it is a PMC quest to go there. There's also a valuable spawn near this chair, so check that too. Once the area looks clear, move down to find various medical supplies and a toolbox. Move back north to the campfire for some loose item spawns, then make your way around the rock face that is the area above the tunnel extract. Up on this grassy knoll is stash number two. I have been shot at here from some juice lords at the chalets, so be careful. Next, we'll head back to the downed helicopter and continue south. Meander through the maze of trees and rocks to get to the highest point of this cliff. Situated in the center of the apex and within a bush is stash number three. Carefully get down the mountain on its southern face. Keep an eye out for players moving down the road to extract. Remember those assholes I told you about? That's us now. Be the juice lord. From here, the route is the same as the beach route. I will point out though, right before the gate to extract, there's a pile of trash near the guardrail. Among the trash is a loose item spawn. This is where I found one of the two military tubes. It's on the way, so it's worth a check. And those are the routes. Understand that not every scav run is going to be a banger, just like your PMC raids. Sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail, and sometimes Gingy has taken all the luck. Let me know in the comments below what your most valuable item found on these routes is, and consider subscribing to the channel for more Escape from Tarkov content. Until next time.